Heyo, I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another action figure review. In this episode, we're taking a look at the Mortal Kombat 11 line. This is Spawn. So I missed the, um, the original release of the Spawn from the Mortal Kombat line. Uh, that was the black and red version. Uh, so when I saw... They had re-released it in the, uh, the slightly different, the alternate colors, uh, player two or whatever you want to call it there. Um, I went ahead and picked it up because again, I was, I don't know. So I don't know how I missed the original release of the original spawn, but I did. So I picked this one up and, uh, I think it looks cool in the package here. Um, I'm not real impressed with the packaging for the Mortal Kombat 11 figures, uh, but they they do look nice you have a nice big window anyways um this is the figure we get so mortal kombat 11 logo at the top uh the character at the bottom here the side we do get some cool artwork here the cool spawn flipping it over to the back we have again just kind of the glamour shot of the figure itself uh the 22 moving parts the other copyrighty information <laughs> nothing on the side here at the top um again that kind of extended window kind of thing the bottom we've got copyright information this is uh 2021 copyright so should be out around this time <laughs> so yeah uh, uh my standard stores around town don't really carry these lines um, occasionally I'll find some in the collectibles line at Walmart, but not very often. GameStop occasionally has some. Again, I live in a place where we don't really get much to pick from anyway, so I, I got this from an online retailer. Uh, Amazon is great for some things. So, uh, but let's go ahead and get this guy open and take a look inside here. Uh, we got a standard kind of sticker bubble tapey thing here. Slice that open pop this out and slide everything out uh, nothing else in the box here so we'll toss that to the side and we got the figure in the little bubbly thing here we've got the Mortal Kombat logo here I like this color scheme anyways uh, we got the Mortal Kombat little figure stand here at the bottom again these are kind of standard same we've seen with most of the the dc line from mcfarland so um yeah there's not easy to get these things out but uh let's just go ahead and uh, see if we can cut this bubble real quick enough to pull the stand out There we go. Stands out. We'll toss the packaging to the side. And let's see what we got here. So uh, the figure itself does have, well, the accessory has a little uh, plastic holdy piece here. So we'll cut that off first and then lift out the sword. That is cool. Um, some of the uh, other variations of the spawn figures, uh, there was uh, the red sword. And then there was uh, one that had the axe in it as well. And I think they had the uh, the yellow colored spawn as well. And I think they've got a new uh, kind of flesh colored one, um, which didn't look all that good to me. But uh, we've got another rubber bandy thing here around the chest. So we'll cut that off. And looks like the cape is just fed through the plastic here. So we'll kind of just see what we can do to get this guy out now oh we got another one another rubber bandy thing at the boot that one i didn't see cut that off then 
we should be able to kind of fold the cape enough to get it out of the plasticky thing here. Weird, but there we go. All right, uh, let's get rid of some of these trashy bits here. <laughs> So there we go. That's uh, everything we got in the package here. We got spawn, we got a sword, and we got the stand here. So uh, let's zoom in a bit here and get a little closer up here with Mr. Al Simmons, Mr. Spawn here. Uh, let's start with a figure stand here. Again, it's a standard kind of... Uh, we've seen these for other figures from McFarland, so nothing too exciting here. We do have just the Mortal Kombat logo there. I'm going to stick this on on his foot here. Does seem to go on there fairly easily. It's nice and tight and snug. Then bend his foot and it's standing up pretty well there. So uh, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. That's not bad at all. Beyond that, it's kind of just a standard stand. So <laughs> I like stands. Um, when they work, they work, and you don't have to worry about them. So that's kind of what I'm looking for in a stand, so I'm okay with that one as is. <laughs> looking at the accessory here, we just had the single sword here. Uh, it's got some nice detail in it. We've got kind of that uh, obsidian marbly stuff here in the center. Some nice kind of uh, almost Damascus steel going on there. Some nice little uh, crunchy bits around the blade. We do have the cool Spawn logo there in the center. I guess it looks better if we turn it that way. Yeah, very cool. And other than that, it's made out of a semi-flexible plastic, so if yours is not completely straight, should be able to straighten it out pretty easily. Put a little pressure on it and bend it in place where you can heat it up in water and then straighten it out. And as it cools, it should retain the form there. But um, it is what it is. Uh, slides in his hand fairly easily, to be honest with you. So um, that's kind of surprising. We don't often get that. But uh, fits there pretty easily. He can go call upon Grayskull if he needs to. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it fits really well. I mean, there's no place for him to hold the sword other than his hand. Um, you know, in my head, Spawn doesn't use a sword very often. So, um, yeah, he probably isn't going to. Um, you can kind of slide it in the chains here on the side. Something like that if you wanted to. Medieval Spawn does use a sword. Uh, this is not Medieval Spawn, but um, it still looks cool. I like it quite a bit here. Very nice design, anyways. Uh, moving on to the figure itself. Um, I like this color scheme, to be very honest with you. Uh, this kind of teal blue works really well with Spawn. Um, the cape itself is that kind of grayish color. Um, I'm not really upset with that. Um, I'm glad that the whole cape is not that blue color. That would have been weird, but... Um, the red color scheme is probably the most iconic, so I can see why people are still trying to get that one. <laughs> but yeah, this color is a good substitute here. Um, Detail-wise, you can see his eyes do glow green. I don't know how well that picks up on the camera, uh, but it is a nice green color. Kind of that uh, ectoplasmic green there. Kind of very, a very vibrant color in person. I don't know, again, how well it equates across the screen there, but it's a very nice touch there. Um, Detail-wise, again, we've got lots of little um, bits on the costume itself, so it's more kind of like the kind of like the movie Spawn was, as opposed to the, the comic version, where the suit kind of does its own thing, and it uh, very much reminds me of like the way Venom kind of should be per portrayed where that suit kind of uh, wiggles a little bit and stands out a little bit and has those striations and everything. It it looks really cool here. Very nice job with that. 
Uh, lots of detail in the cape here itself. I really do like this. They've got a nice uh, like color wash going on it. Uh, well, not really color, but <laughs> whatever. It's a, a nice wash applied to it, so it's got, got dirty bits, and you can see the little scratches and textures in the cape itself. Very, very nice here. Cool chains, skulls, more skulls, spiky chains, spiky bits on his armor, more spiky bits here. It just looks really cool. He's got his standard pouches there, the big spiky bits on this boot, and the little spiky boots on this boot. Uh, I mean, it's a great spawn figure here. Um, again, if you take away the fact that it's not the original color scheme and kind of just have it as is, it's kind of like a nice kind of like negative spawn or something like that. But uh, the details on this thing is just amazing here. I'm really, really blown away by the those textures you see in that kind of skin costume thing there. Uh, past that, the you know the muscle muscle sculpture looks really good um it's not quite as pronounced as some other figures we've had but again spawn's not necessarily like a muscle guy anyways but he's got enough going on here that it uh, doesn't hurt whatsoever again it just looks really cool here articulation wise let's start with the head here uh, the head does spin at 360 degrees the cape it's made of that soft, bendy plastic here. It kind of gets in the way, but you can lift his head up and go around like that very easily. So no issues there. Uh, up, down. So no problems with that. Uh, side head tilt. Side head tilt. So uh, all in all, very nice articulation on this guy. Looks really good. Um, we'll get a little bit better look at the actual costume face there. Very, very nice there. We do have those uh, weird kind of double shoulder joints here. Um, but we have the ball and swivel on the secondary shoulder joint plus the kind of uh, weird swivelly thing here. Um, the cape looks like it's glued on, so you can't have to shift that around. But it's that soft, bendy plastic here, so no issues with that. We can't really get a good look at that shoulder joint there, but it is that double shoulder joint there, the secondary piece there, and then the primary ball joint right there. So it goes up, kind of gets cut on the cape a little bit there, but not too bad. Uh, then we've got a swivel at the top of the bicep. We have a double elbow joint there at the elbows. Of course, that's where you would put an elbow joint. Uh, then we have, let's see, no swivel at the uh, mid arm, but we do have swivel rocker combo here at the wrist. Uh, it is one of those weird ball joints on the wrist itself, so depending on where you swivel it is where that rotation is going to be at. So. Those are always a little tricky, but not too bad on this one. This one seems to be behaving itself fairly well, so that is very cool. We've got the standard uh, kind of swivelly, rockery thing here at the uh, the chest here. So ab crunch all the way back is right there, so nothing too major. Rocks forward pretty well. Um, again, he can go side to side there, so very nice there. We do have another um, one of those weird ball joints here at the uh, the waist. It's a little tight, but <clears throat> if you grab the sides there, you can see that you can turn that however you want. Has lots of articulation there, so you can get it to go about anywhere you need to. So that is very nice here. Um, we have the extra hip joints here so it's those uh, kind of double ball jointy things there you can see that maybe uh, but you get to go that far wide and then forward it's a little sticky but he can kick forward that far he can kick back that far 
uh, his like crotch peach crotch piece here is that uh, also weird bendy plastic here so um yeah you can easily get that to go wherever you need it to go so <laughs> leg is not hampered whatsoever you can also slightly twist it to go and rotate um so yeah it's all in all it's pretty good there um <laughs> uh even anyways moving on we do have a double knee joint which is sticky and hard to get to go but there we go <clears throat> double knee joint there very nice <laughs> they always are a little sticky out of the gate here um ankle sorry i was looking for the top of the boot but there's not really a boot there so um there's no extra articulation there so it's a straight piece from the top the bottom of the knee to the ankle and then we've got that um ball joint there at the ankle so um forward backward swivelly rockery all sorts of craziness there we also have that extra toe joint there so very cool uh the other side is the same way we have that extra toe joint there you can't really see the joint too well um because of this crazy boot here but uh it's there and yeah it's it's got some crazy articulation here it's it's really nice um it's a little sticky again most of these figures out of the box are um so no major complaints whatsoever here i do like those extra shoulder joints they give you a little extra range of motion there uh and they look cool <laughs> so yeah i mean this is a cool figure um i'm actually really impressed with this one i kind of expected this one to be a little bit extra uh, again Todd McFarlane was the originator of spawn so um being able for him to get a figure of his character into the game was really cool and then to be able to get him and his company to actually do the toys for that game very very cool so I, i'm really glad to see spawn on shelves again i know he um mcfarland toys recently relaunched uh, as a kickstarter trying to redo the spawn line from many years ago uh and i think they're doing some retail releases as well so that's going to be interesting going forward but uh, you know taking this figure as a, a mortal Kombat figure it works really well for what it is uh the color scheme here does definitely help to kind of differentiate it from some of the other toy lines um so it's very much that kind of uh video game kind of inspired figure in that that the color scheme really works well in that environment as that alternate color here i like the blue color the kind of turquoise blue it it actually works really well in this case um and it definitely still has kind of that comic booky feel because this definitely looks like a what you would expect from like a comic book character in like a black and white version of the character but with some highlighted colors to kind of help make it pop a little bit in a video game it just it works really well so something like this kind of color scheme for maybe like the ninja turtles would probably work really well also <laughs> again just me thinking out of the box here but <clears throat> yeah i'm really impressed with this figure if you hadn't figured it out um it also works well with other figure lines so it could uh go into your dc line pretty easily um i know there was a crossover between spawn and batman at some point so there's precedence for that uh it could probably work well with the masters of the universe um probably more so with the classics line than with the origins line but still you know your mileage may vary it depends on your play patterns and things like that and how if you like to cross over figure lines or not but um for me at least this figure probably would work well in some of those situations but yeah it's a cool figure i'm i'm really digging it uh retail price for this thing is uh usually around 20 bucks um secondary market is the only way to find the original red version so those prices have been 
fairly crazy when I was looking at them. Uh, so given the fact that those things are like 50, 60 ish dollars, $20 for this variation is a, a great price here and I'm really happy with it. So again, your mileage may vary depending on when you actually watch this, but, uh, yeah, it's a cool figure. It's, it hits all the points and it's, it's a cool version of Spawn. So I'm happy. Well, that's all the time we have for today, so thanks for watching as always. I appreciate y'all dropping by. Um, if you would, or if you don't want to, that's fine. Uh, but feel free to drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think of this alternate color scheme spawn for the Mortal Kombat 11 game. What do you think about it? How does it fit in with the rest of the Mortal Kombat figures? How does it fit in with some of the other comic-inspired figures in your uh, collections? Anything else, uh, drop them comments down below as well. I, I read most of them, and I respond to some of them. So. <laughs> but keep them coming. They're pretty awesome. I appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Be on the lookout for more awesome video coming down the pipeline. And until next time...